Hello, have you solved this exponential problem? t power t power 11 equals 11. So let's solve for the value of t that satisfies this equation now. We consider this method. So I can easily replace this t power 11 with a variable x. So say let x equals t power 11. Now, after doing that, I will have t power x equals 11. Then, at this point, I can apply natural log. I'll have natural log of t power x equals natural log 11. Now, remember, natural log a power b equals b times natural log a. So applying that here, I have x times natural log t equals natural log 11. Now, this x variable here, this t variable here. So what I'm going to do will be to ensure that the two variables are the same. And to achieve that, I go back to this equation x equals t power 11. So, x equals t power 11. I want to isolate t. That means I'm going to multiply the exponent by 1 over 11. Half x power 1 over 11 equals t power 11. And this is raised to the power of 1 over 11. Now, if you have a power x raised to the power of y, this equals a power x times y. So, this cancel this. That means I will simply have x power 1 over 11 equals t. So if x power 1 over 11 equals t, that means I will simply come over here and this t here, I will replace it with x power 1 over 11. I have x times ln of x power 1 over 11 equals ln 11. Now the same identity again. ln a power p equals p times ln a. So 1 over 11 here will come behind this. And I'm going to have x times 1 over 11 times ln x equals ln 11. So from here, what will happen is to multiply this out, x times 1 over 11. This is x over 11 times ln x equals ln 11. Now we have a fraction here, and to eliminate that, we multiply both sides of this equation by 11. Then we have, this will multiply 11, and this also will multiply 11. So this times 11 will give us 11x divided by 11 times ln x equals 11 times. This will give us 11 ln 11. 11 cancels 11. I will have x times ln x equals 11 times ln 11. x, x, 11, 11, ln and ln. So we can say that x equals 11. Now to solve for t, we have s equals t power 11 or t equals s power 1 over 11. Say t equals x power 1 over 11. That means t equals our x is 11. 11 power 1 over 11, which is the same thing as having the 11 root of 11. Equals if you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of t. All right, so that is one method of solving this exponential problem. Now let's consider this second method. The same problem. t power t power 11 equals 11. Now I will also replace this with x. Then that means I have 
z power x equals to 11. What I can do will be to let's copy this out. That means t power 11 equals x squared. So let's also isolate t. That means I have t power 11. This will raise to the power 1 over 11. Cos x power 1 over 11, right? 11 cancels 11. I have t equals x power 1 over 11. That means the t here, I'm going to replace it with x power 1 over 11. That x power 1 over 11 raised to the power of x, the x we have here, equals 11. Now, let's multiply this out. x times 1 over 11, that is x over 11, f x power x over 11, raised to the power of 1, equals 11. Now, next step is, I can decide to raise each part of this equation to 11. So this is to the power of 11, and this is to the power of 11. So, 11 cancel this 11 down here. Of x power x equals 11 power 11. From here, if you have a power a equals b power b, that means a equals b. So x power x equals 11 power 11, meaning that x equals 11. Now that is not all. We need to solve for t and record t equals x power 1 over 11. There is an equation like that. t equals x power 1 over 11. And our s is 11, so that means t equals 11 power 1 over 11. And this is just like writing 11 root of 11 using the same method identity that we used earlier. Now we can decide to check if the value of t will satisfy this equation. Our t is 11 power 1 over 11. And this is t over t power 11 equals 11. And t is 11 power 1 over 11. Now I will substitute 11 power 1 11 for t. So I'm going to have 11 power 1 over 11 raised to the prop 11 power 1 over 11 raised to the prop 11 equals 11. Now, if you have a power x raised to the prop y equals a power x times y, so multiply this out. 11 cancels 11. That means I will be left with 11 power 1 over 11, the 1 here. And this is raised to the prop, this 11. And this equals 11. I apply this same identity here. This cancel this. I have 11 equals 11. That means this has satisfied the equation. And guys, that is it. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thank you and goodbye. See you again in our next video. Bye.